Let's today discuss diabetes mellitus, a global pandemic diagnosed with help of increased blood sugar levels irrespective of corresponding insulin levels. And due to this increased blood sugar levels, person will become too sweet, too sweet to survive due to multiple complications over a period of time. And on lighter note, it is rightly said that diabetics are the only people who inject drugs to avoid getting high. So let's discuss. Now let's first take up normal scenario. In normal scenario, beta cells of pancreas release insulin. And this insulin is required for transport of glucose inside the cell. And if there is no insulin, then this transport will not be possible. Therefore, blood glucose levels will increase. And second thing is that in case insulin is available, but this receptor becomes resistant. Even in this case, glucose will not be able to go inside the cell. And it will result into higher blood glucose levels. See, higher blood glucose levels will decide whether a person is diabetic or not. Not the insulin levels, okay? Try to understand. So, in case of type 1 diabetes mellitus, that is also known as insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, in this case, there is complete destruction of beta cell and this is autoimmune problem, that is immune-mediated destruction of beta cell. Therefore, in this case, there will be no insulin. That is absolute insulin deficiency. And therefore, blood glucose levels will increase and treatment of this case will be insulin. And therefore, it is known as insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. Whereas in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus, there is insulin. Sometimes it might be increased as well. But there is insulin resistance. Due to this insulin resistance, insulin will not be able to act on its receptor. And therefore, glucose transport inside the cell will not be possible, resulting into again increased blood glucose levels. So, in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus, that is also known as non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, there will be presence of insulin. There is no destruction of beta cell, but there will be insulin resistance. Due to this insulin resistance, insulin will not be able to act on its receptor resulting into increased blood glucose levels and therefore it is also known as non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus okay we will discuss all these things in detail as of now you guys have understood the normal scenario type 1 diabetes mellitus in which there is complete destruction of beta cells in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus beta cells are normal at least in initial stage and later on there will be insulin resistance mainly related to diet and lifestyle and then blood glucose levels will increase resulting into non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus or type 2 diabetes mellitus.